Namaste. I am Mrs. Vanita, serving as the principal of Vrindavan Vidyalaya Public School. I am happy to welcome the IC member of secondary grade affiliation of our school. I welcome Ms. Abarna, the principal of Cambridge School, Delhi. I welcome you, ma'am. I also extend my welcome to Ms. Selina, the principal of Olifite Oxalum School, Delhi. Welcome you, ma'am. I feel so excited to travel with you as a guide in the virtual tour around us, Vrindavan Vidyalaya Public School, popularly called as BV Public School in our locality. This institution is established in the year 2014 and is managed by Vrindavan Educational Trust. The school is nourished by the guidance of our founder, Sri Kanhachalam, who always quotes that. Vrindavan is not a school, it's a research center in identifying the individual talents of each child. Though this is the sixth year, our school has escalated to a great horizon of success and today it is seen as one of the popular institutions in our locality with around 750 children. A system of education would be a perfect technique to blend the modern technological advancement and the ancient Indian culture. That's the reason it has become synonymous with academic excellence and a benchmark to measure the co-curricular excellence. The vision of our school is to elicit the all-around development of body, mind and soul. And you'll be knowing more about our school. So let's move on to the virtual trip around the school. This is the main entrance of our school with the CCTV camera and the security. This lane leads to the school block at a distance of 150 meters, gratingly greeted by the green trees. Now you're witnessing the school ground which comprises of the courts for the various games. The school is protected by the six feet compound wall now we are witnessing the PT equipment room heaped with a number of equipments needed for the fitness of the children. This is the side entrance of the building and the emergency exit. Now we are witnessing the parking area of the building with the emergency exit. And this is CCTV camera placed at the look in corner of the building. This is the palatial lobby with the reception desk and the PA system for the quick announcement and gathering of the pupil. This is the area where we conduct our daily assembly and the spectators are used to spectate from the corridor. This is the biology lab where we make our children to do all the experiments thereby learning all the concepts by proper understanding. This is the chemistry lab. Before could, they could enter the lab, they should know the safety rules and these are the chemicals and glasswares that has been provided in the chemistry lab. It's a spacious and ventilated one for the kids. Next, we move on to the physics lab, which is equipped with all the necessary equipments for the senior secondary. Next, we are moved on to the math lab zone here the children learn all the concepts by playway method and learning by doing. Here they self-evaluate themselves and make a self-learning with the help of all these materials. Now we have moved on to the computer lab where we have a number of computers and next comes the robotic lab where we create young engineers with their new innovative robots. This is the literature lab of our school. The children come here twice a week and listen to the videos and audios. Next, we move on to the activity lab, which has been provided with number of hands-on manipulators related to the concept. Next, we move on to the library, which is a resourceful area of our school.
this is the oro plant which gives the enough supply of water and the water is collected by the drums which is kept in the all the three floors of our building next comes the toilet which is very spacious and clean one for our kids to use without any hesitation here we have laboratories which has been provided with water and likewise we have the toilets in each floor for the boys as well as the girls so they feel acts easily accessed to this toilet this is the girls toilet here you have the wash area and the laboratories and the last laboratory is being fitted with the incinerator to diffuse the used sanitary pads this is the vacant room which we have made fully furnished for the upcoming classes that is the senior grade senior secondary to occupy very soon these are the rooms which are kept vacant for the future years a sound mind lies in a sound body for that we have a wellness room with the wellness nurse so whenever the children feel sick or not easy so we take them to this room and consult the nurse here and if they are not in a status to listen to the class we make them to relax here in the beds we have beds to relax the students and also the wheelchair and walker if they are not able to walk they use them here we have medicines for the minor illness and also we use it to monitor the health by measuring height and weight she is the counselor mrs kalpana devi of our school she counsels the children if they find some somewhat disturb in the class and next we'll move on to the indo games room where we have number of indo games to entertain the children and make them feel smart active and also relaxed from their regular studies here we have a table tennis chess and carrom where they used to come over here weekly twice and three classes will be conducted as outdoor every week so this room provides more fun for the children whenever they enter this room here they will be playing the table tennis which will be guided by our master mr ramu thank you this is the auditorium of a block where our children used to have a good gala with the music and dance learning is not a product of teaching learning is a product of activities of the learners here in our campus we give our children n number of activities which caters the development of intelligence physical social and moral thereby we gift our nation 
a very good and responsible citizen for its progress. Thank you.